It can be devastating to have people spread rumors about us. We can become sad and angry. We can lose sleep because of our worry. We could have trouble paying attention at school or work. This is especially likely if the rumor happens to be something true that we don't want anyone to know about. In fact, there are people who took their own lives because they could no longer stand the pain of rumors being spread about them. Fortunately, it is usually quite simple to make rumors stop. I'm excited to teach you how. First, consider how you are responding to the rumors. Are you getting upset or angry? Are you getting defensive and vehemently denying that it's true? If so, you are automatically losing. You are giving the rumor mongers the power to defeat you and they are enjoying it. So they keep on saying the rumor. Also, by being angry and being defensive, you're treating them like enemies because anger is the feeling we have towards enemies and we defend ourselves from enemies, not friends. So how do we deal with rumors? Well, there's two simple steps. The first is telling yourself that people have the right to say whatever they want. You know, we live in a democracy that values freedom of speech. The purpose of freedom of speech is not to let people say things that we like to hear, but to say things that we don't like. If people can sense that the rumors are bothering you, they will continue spreading it. And if they sense that they don't bother you, then they will get bored and look for a new subject to talk about. You see, it's very simple to kill a rumor. You starve it to death. Rumors feed on your anger. So when you get upset and you get angry, it grows. But the moment you decide to starve it, you know, you don't give it your anger, it will quickly die. So if it seems like people are spreading rumors about you, don't go around accusing them or asking them if they're doing it. They need to see it doesn't concern you at all. The second step is to turn the tables on the rumor bringers. When they tell you that they heard something negative about you, instead of being defensive by denying it, make them defend themselves by asking this magic question. Do you believe it? You see, when you ask, do you believe it? They have to now decide if they want to acknowledge believing a rumor about you. You can't stop people from believing what they want to believe. And if they say they believe it, you can answer, well, hey, you can believe whatever you want. And then you come out the winner. If they say they don't believe it, then you could say, good. And you also win. So let's say someone says to you, hey, I heard you, you cheated on your test. Instead of saying angrily that it's not true, ask, do you believe it? Use the magic question, do you believe it? And you'll see that you come out winning. If someone nevertheless asks you if it's true and it's okay to say once, no. But if they continue to ask again and again, just answer with the same thing. Do you believe it? You can believe it if you wish. I, I can't control what you believe. They'll quickly get tired of asking you and they'll leave you alone. But what do you do if the rumor is true? If no one can know that it's true, you can still respond with, do you believe it? You don't have to admit to anything that you don't want to. But let's say that the rumor is true and everyone knows that it is true or it can be easily verified. What should you do then? If you deny it, you will not only look like a loser, but people will also know that you are a liar. So instead of denying it, maturely acknowledge that it's true. No one will disrespect you for being honest. On the contrary, they will admire you for having the courage to admit it. You see, no one's perfect and sometimes we make big mistakes. People will forgive us if we admit it maturely. So let's say you were caught cheating on a test. Shame on you, by the way. <laughs> Not only did the teacher see you, but lots of students saw you doing it. Uh, now word is going around that you are a cheater. So when someone says to you, ha, I heard you cheated on a test. Instead of denying it, say, yeah, I can't believe I did that. That was the dumbest thing I ever did. Oh, I'm so ashamed. You see, if you're honest and humble, the rumor will quickly fizzle out. The most important thing to remember is that rumors feed on your anger. If you get upset, rumors will continue to spread. But the day you decide that you're gonna give people the freedom to think and say whatever they want. You give them the ability to believe whatever they want. You don't give them any of your anger. The rumor will starve to death.